So, I apologize for messing up that potential achievement of a kiss from a frog. But, um, we got plenty of more stuff to do. Such as, go back to the train station. And that's the conductor. It's a weird looking person. Yeah, he kind of is. Um, the bell is actually not just for decoration either. You'll see that in a bit. Um, so this is actually kind of a, 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 a minor... Um, it was a... Uh, it seemed like a really big problem. Because I don't have a, a train to get to Lawn Life Town. Charge him right now only has a train to get to Worldly Desire Temple, where we currently are, and for uh, Funny Bone City, which we can't get to yet. So, and that place right there only sells tickets to Funny Bone City. So when you transfer to like a train and like travel to different places, does that just make it easier to travel? Um, well yeah, actually the... For the good first couple hours of the game, it was just we were in Lawn Life Town. And then there was a rock on the train track. And um, during a very uh, very heated discussion between a couple teachers, one of them kicked the rock off the train tracks. And now the trains work again. So anyway, the lawn story is short. Um, or lawn scandal short. The the ticket to Rolla Desire Temple works there and back. Like, I bought it at Lawn Life Town, and I, uh, used it, and this is the nice little loading screen that we get, with the conductor really enjoying himself. <laughs> wow, is that just, like, one cart? Uh, it's two, actually, but, um, Raxby pointed this out, too, but he was surprised that we were the only one on the train. But, there we go. So, uh, the trains have a schedule too, and uh, they actually have like a little poster we can know where you can look at that kind of stuff. But, I guess we thought something was over there. But there's not. This is Lawn Life Town, this is the first area of the game. Char Chim lives here. That's Michelle. She, uh, she cleans things. And there's Mel! There is the girl of our dreams. Aw, oh, look at her. Mm -hmm. um, and she actually is, uh... Whatever a person calls, um, the tell you what an item does thing. So if we show her an item, she'll actually say what it's for. So she said that that apple was used so that we can run. Which is gonna, like I said, that's why it's the most important item in the game. Because charge him up until now. He's not moving slow, but he can't run. And once we eat that speed up apple, something good's gonna happen. But and this is our house. Um, our dad is right there reading the paper. And that's our bed. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's a very fold away. So, and this is what happens when we go to sleep. You'll notice that the dad is freaked out for various reasons. And we kissed that. You didn't see that one, but we did. Snobby Tank, we did. We did. We did. And then Hasty Wizard. So we had four kisses during the course of one day. And that's the lover's tree. It's pretty fucking important, by the way. So I think it said we had 14 kisses? Yeah. So that's 14 kisses, alright. Um, there's lots more to go, but we're on off to a good, um, a good roll, I guess you could say. We just got a whole bunch in a row. That's a pretty clever way to show how many you kissed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then if we get one more, we're gonna level up. Currently we're level 5, which is, uh, called Bad Teenager. So we a badass teenager. So what do the levels do? Do they like play a role to like getting other stuff? Actually, yeah, because they they increase Charchim's hearts, and um, certain certain kisses can't be achieved without having uh, enough hearts. Like they they require being hurt. Um, but something's going on with the with the with the paper. So this is actually pretty helpful for you because you weren't able to see that cutscene. Um, but the letter set was taken from Dan Yamada, and Sabu Madu. Uh, you know, Ue is, um, he's the gravestone. So Yuri uh, Iwata is um, a sign, and Junichi Saito is a barrel. So they they took the love letter set from our good friend Mishio Suzuki, and without it, we can't write Mel a good love letter. And if we can't write her a good love letter, how is she gonna fall in love with us? 
I know, that's like the only way someone can fall in love, right? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So, um, now that we've saved, uh, we can try eating the speed apple. And if something bad happens, we can just go back to the save. But now, he can run by pressing the circle button. And things get a lot better now. Whoa. Yeah. He just takes off. So, I think it's like probably three or four times faster now. And we're just gonna run somewhere. Hey, wait a second. There's a guy there. This is actually Monk. He's the guy that lives at Worldly Desire Temple. Who is the, the father of the, the... The... The fencer girl, I guess? Um, Isn't that the person... That... We had to talk to in the cemetery? Um... When you, like, mission a monk? Or was that... Like, something else? Uh, that is the monk. His name is Monk. I'm not sure if we talked to him yet. I could be wrong, though. But if we give him money... He'll actually give us something in return. So it's not entirely. He says they're the, the venerable incense sticks. Inc <laughs> incense sticks. That they'll come in handy. And it's kind of difficult to talk to them, by the way, because the crosswalk's right there. So. Um, but this, this guy's the guy that who owns the crappy gun that we have to get better. We have to get him a better one so that um, uh, Ino Ue will give us the love ink back. Which is just one part of the love letter set. So we can give him all the money we want, actually. There's actually unlimited amounts, and I'm just gonna say this is actually a bad thing to do. Because, um, I figure, like, incense sticks, I don't know, if they come in handy, I better buy three of them. But, um, I'm going to learn this sometime. I'm not sure in this little section or not. But, uh, one is all a person needs. It never runs out. Huh. It's weird that they want you to, like, buy more. Mm. Or they make it seem, like, it's, it's, there's some, there's a lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of lessons that a person has to learn after fucking up, pretty much. But, I don't know, I kind of like that. It's a good thing, because, you know, if, it kind of, like, shows some realism. Mm -hmm. Because in real life, like, yeah. if you only need to buy one thing, but someone wanted to sell you some more just to get yeah, money. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's interesting. Maybe um, we have a very capitalistic religion here. But let's see what Mel says about these incense sticks. That's true, Mel. We do. We we were just at the cemetery. We fucking saw the Grim Reaper. But, so. Um, so, since we do go to the cemetery, maybe we want to get another one. Actually, no. Um, I know exactly why we're going to go here. But uh, we need to get another kiss. Because we need to get one more kiss, then we can level up, and then we can go back to the cemetery and do who, kn who knows what. Because I don't. At the time, I did. But after waiting a little bit, he can cross the street, and this is going to be the playground. And I'm sure nothing new is going to pop up. Oh, wait. That is Dan Yamada. He's the one that quit his job as being a teacher because he wasn't getting paid. Poor life of a teacher. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to, uh, he says he's going to dig a hole, but I'm not sure how he's going to do that. But he'll sit there and kick sand, and, um, he'll, he'll just fucking kick sand. That's all I'll say. He, he doesn't uh, respond to anything. I'm going to show that in a little bit here, but, uh, there's not much he can do for Dan Yamada after he's, um, determined to dig a hole. So I just got that, actually. I just got when he says, I'm going to dig a hole, too. He means dig a hole like all uh, the other NPCs that live underground. Like this one. And this is the one we're looking at from mm -hmm. above. Yep. So this is, a. Uh, this one is pretty neat. This fucking puzzle right here, I think is really good. But I don't, I don't think, it, it takes me a long time to figure it out. But he says that he likes, uh, he likes those trains. So, maybe now that we've opened up the trains, we can do something with that. But, uh, it's, um, I'll just tell you right now, Nakusa, I don't fuck. It's, it's, it's a long <laughs> ways off. Because <laughs> the trains have nothing to do with it. It's a great puzzle, though. I like it a lot. Um, uh oh, so is it like a riddle or something? And you have to figure it out? Kind of. Kind of, um... 
It's, an, it's a neat little one. I'm not going to uh, say too much about it more, except for the fact that even most characters, if we try to kiss them, they'll, they'll hit us. But Tokyo, Shin Yokohama. But there's also a flower over here. A wilting flower. I wonder what we can do with that. Um, but most characters, if you try, if you just walk up there and try to kiss them, uh, they'll punch charge him right in the jaw. That seems like a natural reaction. Yep, yep, and that's the deal. You just can't walk up and kiss somebody. You have to, you have to earn it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Mhm. Mm so, see, there he comes. This Jam Shack 415. He just kind of sits there when he pops up. All right. Looking angry. But uh, maybe this wilting flower, we can see what our what our girl. Maybe she's not a girl yet. She likes it though, and she says Leo is collecting flowers. Leo is a statue lion who owns a bathhouse. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 